Hi everybody, it's Janet and welcome to Craft Talking. It's Sunday and it's time to share our makes using the hashtag pound sun craft talk. Now I challenge you guys to use this hashtag when you're posting anything online. Um, I gotta believe that there's a few of you who are actually making a few things and so don't worry about it being fancy. Also don't worry about doing it on Sunday. You can do it anytime during the week. Just use the hashtag somewhere in your post, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. And I search for that hashtag, and if I can find your items, I will visit you, leave you a comment, and mention you in my next video. So, um, I again hope you will do that. Alright, so I've got lots of stuff to make to show you that I made. I felt a lot better this week and thank you guys for those of you who said I hope you feel better. I do feel better. I'm not cured yet, but it's getting close. So the first thing I have for you is this card sending you whoop, warm wishes. Boy, that was awkward of me. Sending you warm wishes is really not that awkward. Just me. Um, but what's cute about this is you have the kittens with their sweaters on the front when you flip it over, you have another sentiment and you see the kittens from the back. And this is style of card is called a flip card. This is the set I used and you can see the stamps uh, and sentiment back here. They have, I should say, art impressions have um, all kinds of different animals that they use in the flip cards. There's quite a few sets of this. So if you like it, you could follow the link to their store and take a look around. To make this a little easier, there is another die set. This is called the flip card die, and it includes this, this uh, piece right here. And what it does is it cuts open this rectangle on the three sides and then puts your fold lines here. So it just makes the card making a little bit quicker and easier. But the instructions tell you how to do it with a craft knife. You can do it that way too. The only other thing that is nice about this set, if you're going to pick it up, is that it does have the sentiment, happy birthday, and then the numbers zero through nine with an exclamation point. So you can use it for happy 70th birthday, happy 10th birthday, whatever you wanted to do. For a birthday card, you could um, do it right onto your sentiment here if you wished. So anyway, that is the Art Impressions card. Oh, I should mention that I did use Karin brush markers and I watercolored this. So the way that these work is they have a soft brush. I will squiggle some on my craft mat, use a brush and pick it up with a little bit of water and paint that way. And I'm really enjoying them. In fact, I have another card where I did that same method. So uh, for Art Impression, or sorry, for Eyelet Outlet, I did this card. This will post or be posted on Sunday. And um, this is a cute little gnome in his wagon. This is a set from Pink Gem Designs. It comes as a printable PDF and then you have to fussy cut it or you could, I suppose, scan it and cut it out with your uh, scan and cut if you'd like. I just fussy cut it. Um, and then put it up on foam tape behind this border. The border is glitter foam tape. Glitter foam tape. It's glitter uh, tape, washi tape. That comes from Eyelid Outlet too, and it's called Glitter Tree, I think. Glitter Tree Washi Tape. I'll have a link with the name in it if you wanna uh, look it up and see if you are interested in it. Um, I also used this green enamel dot heart and I used the Holly Brad as well. The Ho 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 is one of several sentiments that come in this kit with the gnome. Um, so I just chose this one. And the star of this card is really the presents and there are brand new Brad out this week. There's actually four Brads out that I'll show you. But the first is the present Brads. They've got skinny long ones and squarish ones. And some of them have gold accents, some of them have silver accents, and then they're red and green primarily. So, love that. A second brad that I want to talk about is shown on this card. This is the female cardinal brad. It's a brand new one also. And this one comes with two different styles. One, one facing to the right, one facing to the left. And they pair nicely then with the red cardinals who also 
look to the right or left. So this way you can pair them up and make them, you know, looking at each other, which is a nice thing to do. So there they are. And also I use the Snowflake Brads on this one and a Holly Brad and some of their bling. I used uh, the Green Gem bling and the Pearl bling. And then the glitter silver is just washi tape. Again, with a white piece of cardstock, I just put the silver washi tape around all four edges and then cut it out so it looks like the whole thing is glitter, but really only the edges are. And then I use two strips of their red glitter tape and uh, on cardstock before I cut out this, the Warm Winter Wishes sentiment. So uh, I think that's pretty cute too. The two other brads that they've come out with that I just didn't have time to make anything on this week. Um, first we have Frappe. I think I'm saying that right. Frappe. Um, there is a chocolate and then a um, strawberry cream one. And they have the little straws in them. They are really adorable. And then I have the brand new Swirl Cupcakes. This comes in chocolate, vanilla, and then there is a strawberry. Let's see if I can push that away. There you go. There's the strawberry cupcake. So no matter what flavor you like, they've got you covered there. I'll have some cards made with those probably next week. All right, so what's next? I'm going to show you another one of the um, little cadoodle bug designs. This is a ginger. And I cut this out with my Silhouette Cameo 4. However, the doily in the background, that's a plain die that I used and it says to and from. Again, this is Melissa Deuce's pattern from um, Cadoodlebug Design and she continues to have sales. So if you like any of these big eyed characters, go over and check her out. I'll have the link for that also. Uh, she has a great selection of many, many different patterns to choose from. And last card wise I have a Halloween card this will probably be my last Halloween card and I cute the way it pops up this is a diamond press um, peekaboo set but I picked this up mainly because I wanted the peekaboo mechanism and and the card background right the base because this could easily be turned into a snow scene with uh, you know something popping out like a reindeer or a snowman or Santa Claus or whatever. Um, I think it will be really fun to work with, but this is all the dies and stamps that come with it. I've got them all on this card and I've recorded a video, but I don't know if I'll get time to edit it. If I do, I will be putting on a video on how to make this one, which I think could be helpful for the many people who have it and maybe haven't tried it yet. So that's that. And now, last but not least, is this little shaker jar. Um, I almost think it should be called a fidget jar because you kind of get entranced by, by just turning it over and seeing all the things inside of it. Now this was inspired by Rhonda Coleman at Rhonda's Got a Project. And um, when I saw this on her channel, I thought I'd like to try to make that. So this is my first one. I don't think it's as cute as hers, but I gave it a try, Rhonda. <laughs> and it's my first, so I will uh, experiment a little bit more with it. The supplies for this were really inexpensive. I got the jars and I think a pack of four or five in a package from the Dollar Tree. These are real glass jars with a twist on top. And I filled it with this mix which I showed a couple weeks ago I think it was and then um, I also bought this at the Dollar Tree this is the red wire which I thought was cute to wrap around the top to hang it with so this could be used on a package or um, if you made it a little bigger I guess you could hang it on a I, I mean the this part of it the handle part maybe you could hang it on a tree or it can just sit at your desk it's just very cheery and fun like I said, it's sort of enticing just to keep turning it around. So Rhonda had some great projects this week. By the way, she showed some alternate uses of rain boots and made them into Santa boots. Really clever. And she uh, also showed a clip that she made. It was kind of a stacking clip or a flip clip. 
and she used it in her Bible, which I thought was a fantastic idea also. So please go check Rhonda's Got A Project. I have a link to her channel also in my video description. Okay, everybody, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I made, maybe giving you a little bit of inspiration, I hope. Some ideas. Sometimes we just get in a rut, right? And we don't know what in the world to make. So hopefully seeing some of these things inspires you to start making some things on your own as well. So I enjoy my time here with you. Thank you so much for uh, you know visiting me and if you haven't done so, please subscribe, but give me a thumbs up and comment. Those are so nice to see during the week as they start coming in. And I will be back again next Sunday morning. Bye now.